I'm Aaron, I'm 27 and I'm a model from Manchester. My relationship history so far has not been that successful. I seem to meet girls and I like them, but I just like more than one flavour and I can't seem to keep my hands out of the cookie jar. Most of my exes would probably describe me as a bit of a knobhead. They'd say I'm nice to begin with, but I always end up going elsewhere. Maybe I've just not found the right girl yet. If I could describe myself in three words, I'd say top banter, shredded and a bit of a joker. The dirtiest thought I've ever had, I can't really think of one because I've pretty much done everything. I mean, I've banged my mate's mum, that's pretty bad, right? I'd say my biggest social media fail was leaving my phone unlocked and accidentally posting a nude on my Instagram story. Luckily, my mate managed to let me know within five minutes and I deleted it. God knows who scream on it though. I'd say the best way you can get revenge on an ex is shagging a best mate. And I must say, I've done it before, not once, not twice, but three times, and I'd definitely do it again. I'd say the most embarrassing thing my parents have ever caught me doing is once my mum went to use my laptop and I forgot to close the pawn that was on the screen. I was like, mum, it's a pop-up, mum, it's a pop-up. She just laughed and rolled her eyes. I'd say the weirdest thing I do when I'm on my own, I've got this weird obsession where I cream my hands like 10 times a day. Hey, cheek, you're not what you're thinking. I mean moisturising cream. I'd say personality-wise, the thing I like the most about myself is definitely my A-grade banter. I mean, me and my friends are always cracking jokes and ripping the piss out of each other. Looks-wise, it's pretty much everything. I mean, I'm tall, dark, handsome, shredded. Just what every bird wants, right here. I'd say the worst thing about me is, now and again, I lose my shit. And when I lose it, it's bad. The one sexy thing I'd like to try is banging a school teacher in a classroom. Glasses on the lot, bending over the desk, whipping him with a ruler. Come on, miss, I've been a naughty boy. <laughs> I'm looking to meet an ex on the beach. Just some good looking girls. Fingers crossed there's some in here. And if I connect with one of them, who knows what might happen? This big dog could be tamed. I'm an ex on the beach to absolutely tear it up. I'm gonna shag loads of birds, cause an absolute stir, and if anyone gets in my way, then they're gonna know about it. My name's Bobby, I'm an art dealer from Essex, and I'm 23. In terms of my relationship history, just shambles so far. You know, I've messed around a lot, and I've never been really looking for anything too serious. My ex would describe me as a confident person, sometimes cocky, and a bit of a dick, to be honest with you. If I was to describe myself in three words, you know, I'd probably say straight up G. My dirtiest ever thought would probably be three fit birds, and some handcuffs, some whips, and a couple of blindfolds, why not? And my biggest social media foul was probably when my mates got hold of my phone and sabotaged it, put a picture of me naked that they found that I sent to a girl. I actually got quite a few likes. The best way to get revenge on an ex would be to sleep with one of her best mates, or even if she had a sister, you know, I'd do that as well. The most embarrassing thing that my parents see would probably be they walked in my room with me and two other girls at it, so that nah, weren't too good. The weirdest thing I do when I'm alone, I have pretty bad OCD, so I'm just tidy and stuff, talking to myself a lot. When my mates have caught me doing it, they think I'm a bit of a freak. The thing I like most about myself is um, you know, I'm pretty confident. I'm always on the ball, always make sure that you know, I'm on my toes and ready for any situation. If I was to say physically, I do get a few compliments on the old uh, corned beef. Uh, the thing I'd like least about myself would probably be my legs. You know, there is no squat rack in the world that's going to help me you know, big up these bad boys. The one sexual thing I'd like to try would be um, a good looking bird, a mum, both in my bed. You know, why not? I'm hoping to meet your ex on the beach. I'm a good sort, big ass, big tits, nice brunette bird, someone I've got connection with and click with straight away. I'm on X on the beach to meet a few new people, more for the experience, the enjoyment, have a laugh, and get me end away. Hi, I'm Josiah. I'm 20 years old. I'm from Blackpool. My relationship history has always been a little bit rocky. I just seem to be picking the wrong girl. My ex would describe me as the best thing that she ever had, but she's never going to get this again. If I had to describe myself in three words, I would say I'm fun, I'm cheeky, and I'm very smooth. My biggest social media fail, I don't have one. I always use protection, even when online. The best way to get revenge on an ex is to find a fit of bird, 
start cracking on, do it right in front of them. The most embarrassing thing that my mum has ever caught me doing is having a cheeky out pop when I was about 15 years old. I'm always careful to make sure that they never worry and they never see anything. The weirdest thing that I do when I'm alone is just crank some music up and have a little groove, you know. The thing I like the most about myself is my cheesy grin. It always wins over the girls. One sexual thing that I'd like to try is joining that mile high club. Going on a plane, getting a fit hostess and doing it in a toilet. I'm hoping to find on X on the Beach my own Angelina Jolie. If any girl walks in here looking like that, I'll be all over it. I've come into X on the Beach just to have a bit of fun, play the field, but if someone catches my eye, then who knows, I might even fall in love. My name is Zane, I'm 25, I'm from Chelsea and I host the best parties at the most exclusive clubs in London. My relationship history has been colourful, to say the least. A lot of emotions involved. Emotional. I'd say most of my exes would describe me as a bit of an enigma. So many layers, so much substance. If I could describe myself in three words, I'd say confident, charismatic, and smart. Dirtiest sexual fancy I've had is having sex with a nurse in a hospital. Bear in mind, they have to be really hot. My biggest social media fail of all time is when I left my Facebook on and then my friends thought it would be funny to come in and download a bunch of unnecessary, unsolicited material all over my newsfeed for everyone to see. And obviously I didn't realize until two days later. The best way to get back at an ex is to throw all their valuable possessions out of the window. I'd say I'm quite a good boy, so my parents haven't actually called me out for anything. I'm a bit of an angel. The weirdest thing I do when I'm alone is I have a chocolate obsession. I'm 24-7 snacking on chocolate, cake, ice cream, all sorts of unhealthy food. My friends don't believe me. They think I eat a really, really, really healthy diet of celery sticks, but that's not true at all. One sexual thing I'd like to try, or person, I'd say is Taylor Hill. She's just so sexy, everything about her is just... I'm hoping to find on this island a Taylor Hill lookalike with a brain. It's gonna be very hard to find, but if I do see her, I will sail away in a ship very far away from no one else, just us two on our own island. I'm on X on the beach to have some fun, get a tan, and if there's anyone that I vibe with, then we'll see how it goes, so happy days.